In this session, we're going to take a look at a service that makes it easy for you to keep multiple WordPress sites up to date all in one location. The service is called WP Remote. And basically, it gives you one panel from which you can update plugins and themes for multiple sites all at the same time. The base product is free, and it works very well. It's worked for me for more than a year now. They do offer a premium version, which includes backups either to their servers or S3 or Dropbox, email notifications of updates and things like that. You can see the prices here. We're going to take a look at the free model now. In here, I've logged in. On the left, you can see all the sites that I'm monitoring. At the top, it says there are 16 sites. There are zero that need WordPress updates, 25 that have plugin updates, seven that have theme updates. And I could search. And here's where I can add a site or group or refresh my sites. Let's take a look at a few things here. Access is pink because WP Remote is having a hard time connecting with it. But I've checked the site and I know it's up. So that tells me that there's something wrong between WP Remote and Access. We can try it again. Let's look here at FHBC. It says I have three plugins and two themes. I know there's a problem with the new version of the podcast plugin, so I don't want to update that one. So I'm going to click here to update Contact Form 7 and the Convert Post Types. I also don't want to update the theme because I handmade this one and I know that I don't want an update. Here at the top, you'll note that it says I'm running the latest version of WordPress so I don't need to worry about that. Let's take a look at here at Fire and Ice. I need to update the all-in-one SEO pack and all-in-one webmaster. So I'm going to click All. Now you'll note here that it says one locked plugin update available. Let me show you what that looks like. If I go to Settings, I can come down here, and there's a checkbox here by NextGen Gallery. NextGen had a very high number of problems going from version 1.9 to 2.0, and so I've decided not to update that long term. And so I've told WP Remote, I never want to update this one. And so now it's locked. And so it's never listed here. And I can just hit all and it won't update that one. Now, Fire and Ice still has a little plug in here because it knows that there's a locked one. Let's look here at JFON. I want to update both of those. And I move on. Now, Joel Beaky has a little green dot here. That means there are no updates for that site. I go to Lambert Edwards. And I want to update all three of these. I go to Land and Lease. And I want to update that one. NCF. I want that one, and I know from experience that these two won't update because they were custom made. Now here at the bottom of Paladin, you can see that there are two locked theme updates. Those work the same way as locked plugins. Let's try updating responsive here. There, now that theme updated. Now over on the left, you'll see we have more green marks. These continued to do their work, even though I left the panels on which I was clicking buttons. A cool thing about the way this works is that WP Remote never actually has any passwords to any of these sites. It uses an API with a plugin. Let's install it on our demo site, and you can see how easy it is. There, I've given it a name. It doesn't have to be the real name of the site. And the URL. I click Add. And now it's trying to contact my site. And it says I don't have the WP Remote WordPress plugin installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy this API key. Then I click this button, and it actually simply takes me to the search results of my plugin install area. And it did a search for me. And there's my plugin. So I click Install. And this is just like installing any other plugin. And Activate. And now right here at the top is a place to put in the API key. It copied some space at the beginning, and I don't want that. So I save. And now I can go back and refresh here. And there we are. Now it's installed and ready to go. Now there's something important here that I want to point out. I have a plugin here to be updated. It's Easy Content Types. This plugin is not on the WordPress.org repo. It's a custom plugin. Pippin hosts it on his own servers. WP Remote does not update plugins like that unless you have the premium version. As long as you know that and you're good with it, everything is fine. However, if you need that feature, then you can pay the premium version, which is $5 a month for one site. Now, if the time comes that I don't want WP Remote to have access to my demo site anymore, I simply deactivate the plugin, and now it doesn't have access. As far as it knows, it's never contacted them before. So then I would go to Settings, General, and here I can remove this site from WP Remote. And now I go actually remove their plugin, and we're all set. There are a few downsides to the free model, like not updating paid plugins, 
And it kind of bothers me that they leave this little icon here, even though that is a locked plugin. That said, it's very, very nice to be able to update multiple sites from this one panel. And if you have multiple sites, I recommend giving it a shot.